What up guys, this is the champ and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Monday. Now I know I said I would alternate every week, but I decided this would be easier. Not to mention I don't really have a lot to say about the other subject I was going to do. So, this week we will look at the second page of my binder of hollowed cards, including Mechlord Emperors, Dark Simorg, and the Dark Magician Collection. Now, uh, what do these cards do exactly? Well, as you know, Dark Magician doesn't have an effect. Uh, we got Mechlord, Astro, Dragon, Asterisk. It cannot be normal summoned or set. You can only be special summoned by controlling three or more face-up Mechlord monsters. And when you special summoned, you can select any number of face-up Mechlord monsters you control and send them to the graveyard. This card's attack is equal to the original attack of the monster sent to the graveyard, so in a sense it's kind of like Raw's ability in the show when drawing a Raw. And then also will this card's face up on the field when a synchro monster or special summon inflict 1000 points of damage to your opponent's life points. So damn that's a good effect. He's just hard to bring out. Uh, we got Mechlord Emperor Weisel, who cannot be normal summon or set, and must be special summoned by its own effect. And it cannot be special summoned by other ways, so say, Monster Aborn, I guess not. Uh, when a face-up monster you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand only. Other monsters you control cannot be, cannot declare an attack, sorry. Once per turn, you can target one synchro monster your opponent controls and equip that target to this card, and it gains attack equal to the equipped monster's combined attack. Once per turn, when an opponent's spell card is activated, you can negate the activation and destroy it. And he has 2500 attack points and 2500 defense points. <laughs> and of course, Asterisk has zero. Let me just zoom in a little bit if I can. No, it gets too blurry. Never mind. Okay. So next we have Dark Simorg. It was a dark attribute monster, but also when he's summoned to the field, he becomes a wind attribute monster as well. You can banish one dark and wind monster from your graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. You can also banish, which means remove from play, one dark and one wind monster from your hand. And special summon this card from the graveyard. And apparently while this card is on the field, your opponent cannot set any cards. So if you manage to summon it while this bad well he doesn't have any cards on the field, he, he's pretty much screwed. And with twenty seven hundred attack points, he knocks enough punch to know uh do some real damage too, so there you go, right? And of course we got Toon Dark Magician Girl and regular Dark Magician Girl. Now this right here took me forever to get. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, it just did. Uh, for those of you who are somehow still not familiar with the show, Dark Magician Girl's ability is you gain 300 attack points for every Dark Magician in either Blair's Graveyard or Magician of Black Chaos, but that's a lot harder to get out because that's a ritual monster. And as for Toon Dark Magician Girl, she cannot be normal summoned or set. It can only be special summoned while Tomb World is on, this, on your side of the field. You can special summon this monster from your hand, but tributes are required for monsters level 5 or more. When Tomb World is on the field and is destroyed, this card is also destroyed. If your opponent does not control a tuned monster, this card can attack your opponent's life points directly, which is pretty awesome. If a face-up two monster on your opponent's side of the field, you must select the two monster as an attack target. So you can't attack any opponent's regular monsters with two monsters. And of course it gains the same effects as the regular Dark Magician Girl. 
And as you can see, I've got three different copies of the original Dark Magician. Or like three reprints, basically. They're all all the cards on this page are either limited edition or first edition. Um, <clears throat> now, which card is my favorite? Well, I think that would be pretty obvious, don't you? Which is the best? That's a tough one because they all have uh, good effects that also somewhat have their drawbacks. But I think the easiest one to deal with would have to be, like, to, be, to bring out would be Dark Simorg. Basically, uh, you don't have to special summon it. Unlike the other two, you don't have to have certain monsters on the field in order to bring it out. But you do have to have certain monsters to bring out its ability. Plus, it's got the highest attack out of all the cards on this page, so... I'm definitely going with Dark Simarg as the best card to use. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned next week for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Monday. Peace out, guys.